friend, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. Welcome home. You are at the home of the Forever Theater Kid and today you are very, very lucky because today I'm giving you my secrets. I'm giving you my best investments to make in as a singer for audition season. Audition season is upon us. It's like back to school for actors. We're like, what can we get to help me make, get the part? Well, remember, it's not about the part. It's about you as a performer. It's about you as a human. It's about taking care of yourself. It's not always about buying things, but if you are looking for some investments to make, Please make sure you tune in because I've got the best ones for you. I got the, I, I got it. You don't have to go searching for another video. They're all here. Let's get on into it. But before we do, before we get into it, I need you to subscribe. I need you to subscribe to me and hit that bell notification so you know every single time I upload. I'm going to be uploading more now because Hunty's on land. She's not on the sea anymore. She got internet. She got Wi-Fi. She got data. She can show you what you need to know about audition season and about acting life and about cruise ship life if you're still interested in that because I got all the knowledge. I'm a fountain. Also, follow me on Instagram if you want to see like a really cute layout and more things to related content go there because she's cute there as well first and foremost when you're singing when you're sitting in a room for sometimes hours on end especially if you're non-union waiting at like a union call an EPA or or an ECC you want to make sure you're hydrated and yeah we're all drinking coffee all day like it's fact but you want to make sure that you're hydrated you want to make sure that you've got a sturdy dependable water bottle or thermos that's going to get you through the day whether it's coffee tea and you should be drinking a crap ton of water and you're going to be peeing non-stop but it's very very important to stay hydrated so you got to make sure that you get yourself a good thermos and a good water bottle this water bottle um, this is a contigo Contigo la distancia. Contigo la distancia. This is a Contigo water bottle with a straw that like flips up. You can detach all of it to clean it, which is really, really great. Get yourself one of those brush cleaners too. I love this. I use this all the time. This is such a great brand. It never smells moldy because I, I'm able to take every part of it apart to wash it. It's got a little clip right here that you can like clip it onto your bag or your backpack or your audition bag. But you should be drinking eight glasses of water a day. On Contigo water bottles, it's really nice. They have the, um, the measured amount of how much water you're drinking. I'm gonna drink some right now because I haven't really drank much water today. I think they have them in really fun colors. You can get these anywhere. You can get these at Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, but also hit up your local home goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They always are selling nice water bottles like this that are maybe from like the season before. So yeah, it's extremely important to stay hydrated as much as possible during your long days, especially when you're in the audition room. You're, you're gonna get dry, the rooms get very warm because so many people are in it. So. Make sure you come prepared. If you also want to come prepared with a really good thermos, I have got this at Francesca's. I actually got it on like a major sale. Words of the wise, I am constantly talking about sales now because we got to save money as actors. Sometimes you just don't know when the next job is going to come. You don't know when the next gig is going to come. So you need to be smart about your savings. That's why I'm saying go to TJ Maxx, go to Marshalls, go to Home Goods, go to Home Sense if you have one near you because they're going to have things at such a better price than the original retail store. I got this at Francesca's. This is a corkicle. Um, I heard the girl who was at there said was like raving about them. This is just a really cute hot pink like sparkly one. They keep your drinks hot and cold. I want to say hot for 24 hours, cold for 12. Perfect, especially if you need like an apple cider vinegar type of drink. This is the perfect thing for it. Brings me to the next investment. Make sure that you invest in some quality apple cider vinegar. Now is this quality? It's raw, you want raw unfiltered with the mother. I don't know what the mother means. I think that's a bacteria and it's kind of gross. But apple cider vinegar is like the end all be all for singers, especially if you have acid reflux. I have acid reflux, I take a medication for it every single day because my reflux is so bad. So I'll put like a teaspoon of this, a tablespoon of this, um, is it a tablespoon or a teaspoon? Cap full of this, maybe two capfuls if I'm feeling really saucy, with water or sparkling water if I need like a little kick. But I believe it's kind of like a kombucha. It just breaks down the bacteria that are bad in your stomach. I don't technically know how this vinegar fights off the acidity that is caused by acid reflux, but it does. If, if I'm ever feeling like got that like gross, like acidic tummy, this is perfect. I don't do shots of it because that's really disgusting to me and I almost threw up the one time I did it. I also love putting this with green tea, honey, ginger, and hot water. That is my perfect remedy during a show. 
um, especially when I'm feeling really vocally fatigued. It is just like the perfect thing to like soothe your voice mid-show, after the show, pre-show. It's awesome, especially with green tea. The next investment you want to make, especially if you're going to the big dance calls, anyone should stretch, everyone should take care of their bodies, especially if you are a performer, your body is your instrument, your muscles, your joints, everything is needed in acting. You need two things that are going to help with your body and they do not have to be expensive. They're investments that you need to make but these ones don't have to be expensive. You need a foam roller or one of these spiky rollers. <laughs> Wish I knew the actual name. This is my saving grace. I got this on tour when I was doing a, a bus and truck tour and it was very, very physically demanding. This thing is at least seven years old. It's just awesome because it's got these little spiky rollers and what you do is you go to your muscle that's really irritating you and you just dig in and you roll it in. Right now my hip is actually acting up really bad. I went on a run and every time I seem to run, my, my nerve that's right near my hip bone really starts like acting up and seizing up. So I'll roll out like right now. Roll out my muscles are surrounding the problem area, loosen up the lactic acid that's building up, protect that nerve with this. I just love this. I got this from Target. I'm sure you can find more of these at Target. You could get the single balls that people like to just like lay on, especially on their like sciatic nerve. But these are just really great. This is handy. You can fit this in your audition bag. It's really lightweight, very durable. It's just an incredible investment to make. Or you could even use a lacrosse ball, a tennis ball people use, or two tennis balls fused together. You just need something like that that's going to help release tension in your body. This is a muscle roller. These are also a great investment. I think this one's from Target as well. I've seen these at TJ Maxx in the workout section. This is the same idea. You, you lay on this, you roll your body out, you roll your muscles out on this. This is straight up foam. It's very uh, pliable, but at the same time, it's like it's it digs right into your muscles. Especially if you've had a long day of dance auditions, your body's gonna be, and then if you've taken like a dance class, your body's gonna be wrecked at the end of the day, especially if you've got work, and then like say you're on your feet for like five hours for a shift at work. So you need things that are gonna help condition your body to, to, to soothe it, to bring it back to life, so that you're ready for your next audition the next day, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that. Speaking of muscles and dance calls, it's really important to have a pair of dance shoes that you feel comfortable dancing in, a pair of dance heels. Especially for when you're going on chorus calls for, say something like, anything. So many dancer calls, you need to wear, be wearing your heels. You can make a really big investment. There's some people that do the big Laduca investment, Laduca. I did that as well. I did this when I first started auditioning. Right now, if I were to start auditioning again, I don't know if I would make this investment because of the type of performer I am and what I do on stage best. These are a pair of Laduca character heels. I believe that can't even be three inches. That might be like a two inch. These are kind of your classic height character shoes. Um, they've got a rounded front and they're very pliable, very bendable. These are a great investment to make if you're, especially if you're going to be going on so many dance calls, you want a pair of shoes that's going to last you. You want a pair of shoes that's going to last you through rehearsals, if you have to wear them in the shows, because not every company gives you a new pair of shoes. So you definitely want to invest in a good pair of character heels. Laduca's run pretty expensive, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I think I invested at least $300 in these when I first started auditioning, but they were something that I felt everybody had and I felt like, you know, like we're the end all be all and they would help me stand out in audition. Not gonna lie, everybody's wearing Laducas. And they're the fancier ones and sometimes they're the ones that wear in their Broadway shows. You don't have to wear Laducas to go to a dance call. You can, you can invest in these if you want. They're a beautiful shoe, they're gonna last you forever, they're pliable, they've got a nice suede heel on the bottom so it is very easy to turn in them. You can see that I haven't even gone to that many dance calls. Is this Was this a bad investment I made? No, because these are gonna last and if I ever do go to a dance call or when I'm in shows where they don't provide shoes, at least I have a pair of these myself. But I got these years ago and they still are kicking. That Laduca has so many varieties of shoes. They have different heights, different styles, different flexibilities, open toe, closed toe, tap. They have everything. So if you are looking to truly make a big investment in a pair of shoes, especially if you are like a sole, like full on dancer, 
go for it. If you're more of a mover, I don't think you have to invest in that pair. These are block. These actually I wore on my ship. They were gonna throw them out. On ships you you wear shoes so often and that the next person coming in, they're not gonna wear your old shoes and they shouldn't because it's actually very unsafe to wear your old shoes. These are, I think, a three inch heel. These are like, when I first put these on, I was like, I am on cloud nine, I am so freaking high in the air, how am I gonna dance salsa? Well, I got used to them very quickly because also they do also bend very well. They really form to my feet nicely and what I really did love was this elastic strap so that if something happened with, with the buckle during the show or if I couldn't quite get it on during my quick change, I knew at least I had the security of that, that elastic cord. But I really love these. I'm actually really happy I took these home with me because my friend fixed them. He fixed the sole of them, kind of spiffed them up for me. So they didn't have to be thrown in the trash, which is what they were going to be. So I was happy I kept these. One of the best investments you can make during audition season is a really solid, durable bag. I have kind of used a wide variety of bags in the past for auditions. You want to use something that's going to hold as much as possible be comfortable on you because think when you're going to like a musical theater audition, a dance call, or maybe both in the same day, make sure you're going to have something that's going to hold your book of all your music, hold your dance shoes, hold a change of clothes, hold your water bottle maybe on any of your makeup that you're bringing with you. So you want to get bags that are going to hold a bunch of crap but also be supportive on your body. A really nice investment I made a couple years back is a bag by Lululemon. I know a lot of people are kind of like one way or the other about Lululemon. There are a lot of dupes out there, but I got a, I got this Lululemon backpack. I talked about it in videos in the past. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it in like a favorites video like way back when, I first, when I first started my channel, but I still have this bad boy. This is at least five years old. This is a great backpack. It's also really cute, it looks nice, but it has so many compartments, it holds so much. I've used, I use this throughout all of ship life in terms of like packing things, there's a spot for underwear, there's a spot for your laptop, there's a spot for your water bottle, there's a secret compartment if you want to keep your wallet in there and so no one will see. It's got this nice leather part in the front. It's got really like comfortable straps as well. Lululemon make really quality everything, but they also just make really good quality backpacks because that are durable. I, I haven't used like their yoga backpacks that are strictly for yoga, but like when I, when I saw this, I knew it was worth it and I got it. I don't even know if they sell this one anymore online. But um, it's beautiful. If I can find it, I will link it down below. But it's just really, really cute. I don't know how much longer this has, to be honest. But it's really like the structure of it's fine. It's just the front that's starting to get like a pretty worn down because of all the use I've had with it. But honestly, five years and this bad boy is still kicking. But if you want to stay on the cheaper end, I found this bag at Target. Now Target makes so many great bags. They make great bags for backpacks, they make great bags. I'm sure you can find something that's similar to the Lululemon backpack that I have. But this bag I found, I kind of got on the whim because my show bag had broken on my ship and I needed a new one to bring up all my makeup and I bring a lot of stuff upstairs when I'm going to shows. I just, I'm one of those people that brings so much crap with me. Which probably should be adjusted in the future, but for now, that's just how I am. This bag is from Target. I love this bag. Number one, it looks really nice quality. It's it's like a nylon blend. It just says it's a textile material. It's got these really sturdy straps, which I really like. It's like they're sewn down really nicely because, like I said, things are going to be heavy. It also, I don't know where it is, but it has a, a strap to make it an over-the-shoulder bag if you need to. But I also really love the size of it. You can make it more compact looking by zipping up the sides. And then it just like is a completely different shape. This will hold everything I need for audition season. It truly will. So I think this will probably be my audition bag. It's original looking. I don't think many people will have this bag. I could be wrong because everybody thinks that about the damn blue dress and then everybody's wearing the damn blue dress. You need to invest in good headshots. You just have to do it. Not that you have to get the most expensive photographer to get your headshots taken, but you need a good shot of yourself that represents who you are and who you will be when you walk into the audition room for whatever you're auditioning for. You don't want to get glam shots, especially if you're like more of a chill, laid back kind of person or more of a simple person that doesn't wear a lot of makeup and you're not going to be wearing a lot of makeup to your auditions. You just want to find something that suits you and who you are as a person. This is my old headshot. I have to get new headshots taken because it's honestly been, been four years. I got these taken right before I went on ships, which I don't really know why I got taken right before I went on ships. It doesn't really make sense. It's better I had these than, it, than the ones I had before because those were not me 
at all. I'll put a picture of these up where it's just like they're very glam and I'm like, Emily, that's not you. So you also want to find a photographer that kind of suits you and and um, takes pictures of he like takes headshots that you think are your style. So search on Instagram. So many photographers are on Instagram now, especially people that are looking for headshots to do. If you find someone that's really great and they're they don't have as many people like following and stuff, you might be able to get like a discounted rate. Look through your alumni because there's usually people that graduate with you or in the class above or below you that's trying to build their book as a headshot artist so their prices won't be as high as either but there it's an investment that you have to make so I on the other hand I am going to be looking for some so if anybody here is a photographer that is in New York especially if you know me for like connected in some way please tell me down below because I am looking to get my headshots taken so please tell me down below give me your information DM me on Instagram oh by the way follow me on Instagram DM me here if you want to collaborate for some headshot work because girl needs to make headshots but my friend Mike took these. They're beautiful headshots, so I'm, I might even go back to him again. But also try something a little different, something a little new. This is just one of my old headshots. This is one I'll be using on auditions. Mainly I need to get new headshots because I look a little different, I look a little older, and also my hair is different, and I'll be going even shorter in like a couple of weeks. So I need to get something that's going to reflect that and reflect me as I go into a room. Invest in a headshot. A really important thing to invest in is a is a casting database. I use Backstage.com. They have an app on your phone now which is new and it's amazing so it's much more accessible than it was when I was started auditioning after college. Um, it's just like, oh, I can't believe how easy it is now to find auditions. I could literally be like sitting on the couch and start submitting for auditions all they want. Um, Backstage is a really awesome, awesome resource for actors. It's both for, it's for the entire country, honestly. You can filter it to whatever your needs are, whatever you think you're right for, your ethnicity, your age, what you play well, things paid or not paid, if you're union, if you're non-union, if you're looking for film, for classes, if you're looking to teach, if you're looking to be in a musical, if you're looking to be in a play, if, if you're looking to work scenic work, you know, like it, they, all these availabilities and all these even gigs like wedding singing tribute bands or stuff like that like so many people post on backstage it's just one of the best investments I've ever made the only thing that sucks about it is that you can't have multiple people on the same account which kind of sucks but it's an investment worth making you could also go on to playbill.com playbill.com always has job listings and a bigger variation than than backstage I just don't find it has as many auditions to see so you can find free sites to find auditions but you might not find as many as like something you'd, you'd use for like backstage. I'm not sure what people use in the UK and the West and people trying to like audition for the West End and different regional things um, on that side of the world. So, and in Australia as well, but I'm sure that there are databases that tell you about auditions, even if you don't have representation. Now, I don't have this, but I think that it's a good thing to have and I think I actually will be investing in it and very very soon it's a belt box I'll put a picture here <clears throat> Ooh, girl <clears throat> it's been around people use them all the time they're basically little muzzles that are like that catch sound they're very like soundproof so it just kind of sounds like you're like humming and kind of when you're in a house of performers and someone's using it you kind of feel like you're losing your mind because you're like is someone singing it's 1230 at night. Who's singing? What's going on? So you can sing into it and you can belt and you can warm up, especially in an audition room. Because most places where you audition, you're not allowed to warm up in the bathroom. <clears throat> it's kind of frowned upon. It's not, it's kind of like an unwritten rule to warm up in the audition, like waiting area, because when it's like when dogs howl. It's like when one person does it, then another person's gonna do it, and this is gonna get so loud that people in other rooms who are working and rehearsing, like they're not gonna want to deal with that. So you kind of have to find your own way to warm up by yourself. Me right now should have warmed up before doing this video because my voice is already tired. It is really important to get some kind of warm up for your vocal cords if you're, especially if you're gonna be belting a 16 bar thing. If you're belting 16 bars from, from Dream Girls, gotta be a little warm for that. Or maybe you don't, you're a musical freak. God bless. So a belt box is a great investment for that because you can do that. You're gonna be judged. People are gonna judge you. People are gonna look and go, that's a choice. But screw what they think because if it helps you and it helps you as a performer to warm up and to be, to feel like you're really prepared for the audition, get the damn belt box.
It also helps in, in apartments, especially if you live in an apartment building where you have people around you, especially if you have people who have children. You're practicing your music late at night because you got your audition the next morning. Now the last and final investment that honestly everybody who is a singer should make is my beloved, and I've talked about this on Instagram, I post about Instagram, and honestly they were really, really wonderful and sent me one as a gift. So I'm not, I'm not talking about this because they're paying me. Yes, they did send me a gift, but at, at the same time, I will sing this company's praises over and over again. Their product saved me, saved my voice on my last contract. I don't think I would have gotten through it if I didn't have it. So it's investment so worth making. Please, please, please invest in it. It is a My Pure Mist. This is a steamer that is a handheld steamer, a portable steamer. It gives you a 30 minute interval of steam. You only need to do it 15 minutes at a time, but if you want to do a full 30 minutes, it's also great too. I've done that myself, especially after a rough night at shows. Most of them, the My Pure Mist Free comes with a aromatherapy deposit little thingamajig. It's really cool, actually. So you put this in and you and you push one of the buttons in and a little bit of aromatherapy sinks down into the steamer. Eucalyptus and honestly, it smells like aloe. I'm not quite sure what's in it, but it just it's so soothing on the voice. It really like helps repair your voice. It helps warm it up. I'll do this and trill as I'm warming up for shows. I, I swear by this, I truly do. After I got this, I didn't lose my voice once on the ship. It's really, really incredible that I didn't lose my voice more. The amount of screaming and growling and just full on singing like consecutive days and the amount that I was singing on my last contract. I lost my voice for like a day but then, once I got my, my Pure Mist, I never lost my voice again. And I did so much more singing, like, for months on end. So I swear by this. Lady Gaga uses it. Ariana Grande uses it. On Broadway use this. Incredible vocalists use this and never lose their voice. Like, if Lady Gaga is behind something, I'm gonna buy whatever she wants. So, my Pure Mist sent me this for free. And it, I had already had one of my own. So it was really cool because then I was able to give Gabe my past my Pure Mist. When you first get it in a pack, I got mine at Target, honestly. You could get it on Amazon, it's the same price. It's about $120. It is the best investment I've ever made for my voice. The first pack you get comes with, I want to say 10 refillable ultra pure water. But you just put it into this little tab that's on the side. And you squeeze it very slowly in because you don't want it to spurt out. And you can see on the inside the level of the water that you have left. So as you can see, um, right down here on the power button, it lights up to see how much it's charged. And then here, you can get, you can make it as hot as you want. It will never scald you. If you get, if you get a steamer fix or things like that, you, it gets so, so hot, you can't regulate the temperature, and that happens with a lot of steamers. So it's very easy to scald your throat and, and your mouth, and that's the last thing you want. You can get it quite warm and quite steam heavy, but it's never going to scald you, which is an incredible, incredible thing. Self cleans, which is really amazing. So it's like hygienic. I also have some um, alcohol wipes that I use for the inside of this just so the inside gets clean. You can see the steam is starting. And you just put it on your mouth like this. And that's it. But it also comes with its own charger. And then you can buy refills for the water online. I get them on Amazon. They're about, they're like 20. I am so freaking pleased and excited and happy to share with you this code just for you guys, just for my subscribers. It's not going to last forever, so make sure you jump on it fast. If you do want to buy a uh, My Pure Mist, especially My Pure Mist Free, that's the one I use. If you want to use my code, please. Uh, click the link down below. This is the code right here. If you use my code while you're when you're buying this steamer, it will help me out tremendously because they'll show that like I'm giving out great advice for you to better your health and better your wellness as a singer. It'll just keep the love flowing because I'm telling you, this is the one to invest in. If you're gonna invest in any type of steamer, this is the one to invest in. It will last you so long. So please use my link. That would be really awesome if you did because this is a really cool opportunity and I would be really, I really love my Pure Mist. I believe in their company. I believe in it so much and I feel honored to be working with them. Just remember, the most important investment of all is you. Your body, your mental health, your wellness, your heart, your soul, that is the most important investment. So if you're not feeling your best, 
don't for force yourself to go to that audition. If you're feeling too run down, too burnt out, don't force yourself to go to that cattle call that you might not even get into if you're not in union. It's okay, more auditions are gonna come your way. There's gonna be so many no's, so yeah, you gotta build a tough skin, but there are also going to be yeses down the line. You're gonna find those cool opportunities. You're gonna find great people. You just have to keep yourself whole. I'm also saying it so I can hear it myself because I get really down on myself I beat myself up during audition season a lot and it doesn't help anyone. Yeah, you got, we gotta be our toughest critics, but at the same time we also have to be our biggest fans because we're the only ones getting up and getting our butts to those auditions. Because you can do it. Even if you don't get into a show, that's okay. Just keep going. Just keep auditioning, keep showing up. Show up in whatever way that you can. Even if that's submitting online, even if that's just singing in your shower and practicing your stuff. If you can't get to that audition, show up for yourself in taking care of yourself and in honoring what you need as a human because if you can't take care of this, everything, you can't show your best performance, you can't share your truest self in that audition room. And I believe in you, I wish you best of luck in your audition season, shit shit, break legs, you're gonna be great. I'm gonna be great. If we see each other in an audition room, please say hi. Hunty, I want you to come up and let's struggle together. Honestly, like, be my friend in an audition. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe and hit that bell notification. A forever theater fam, because you got this. Theater is our home, so welcome home. Also, go over here. Check out some other videos about cruise ship life, about audition life, about performing life, about struggle bus life. Go here, there's a bunch of videos here that'll leave a, a place